Jim's on traffic. Experimental 25 is ready to form Tango. Flight at 2, or hold short of 25 at Delta 4, will be uh, about a two minute delay. James. I'm showing good indication on this end. You got a good start. And we're showing a good start here. Uh, we have taken the runway. This is a record flight, longest flight of an electric airplane ever. We're hoping for 300 miles, and that's that's not an easy goal to achieve, so should be pretty cool. Good luck keeping up, because I'm only at 48% power. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Regardless of tomorrow, we're probably on a two-layer if these winds hold. Any modern aircraft has gone through a flight test program if it's been certified with the Federal Aviation Administration. As a flight test engineer, I run a series of tests to collect data for our experimental aircraft that the engineers that designed it asked for. Review it and make sure our aircraft's operating as we intend it to operate. This is what flight test looks like. It's constantly calling. People will be like, hey, we broke your shit. Could you come fix your shit? I might not be the smartest person in the room, but I'm going to do the hard work and go finish the task that's required of me. That's what's required to succeed when you're a startup. You have to continue to work towards your goal, even if that goal seems unattainable or you have some setbacks. I wanted to be a fighter pilot when I grew up, but I was too short. I have been interested in aviation since I was very little. I always was told stories, to, the way to get me to stop crying, my dad would take me to the airport and I would just watch planes. When I was like 11 or 12, I went on a discovery flight through a museum in a Cessna, and that, I just remember that being a ton of fun. When I was 15, I joined Civil Air Patrol, and through that organization, I was actually able to fly and solo the glider when I was 17, which is crazy. At the same age, I was learning to drive as I was flying alone in the sky. Yesterday's cruise was pretty high, pretty cold, and we, we do... Aaliyah is currently a proof of concept vehicle, so we're constantly trying out new parts, new systems. Every time you have a safety system, a crashworthiness element that are required for certification, you're adding weight to the plane, which takes away batteries. Ultimately, you still need to have a commercially viable range. So the point of the missions this week are to demonstrate the absolute max range that we possibly can of the aircraft in its current configuration. We're going to do three flights to Jamestown, New York, and then directly from Jamestown, New York to Plattsburgh, and then hopefully fly over 300 nautical miles, which is the longest battery electric airplane flight in history, we think. When we do a cross-country mission like this, I don't know that I've ever heard someone say, uh, that's not my job, right? That doesn't really fly around here, uh, pun intended. That is apparent and really highlighted once we get on the road, because we have to be. Hey. This is really important, yeah. way more important than electricity. Yes. You gotta fuel the crew, <laughs> come in and figure out what you want. We're still pulling a tremendous amount of data off the aircraft. That data has to be interpreted real time. So we do fly along with the chase vehicles. The orchestra director, the puppeteer of this entire show is Emma Davis. Whatever she needs to see, that's what happens. So how did you guys get those sweet beat on the GoPro earlier? I had music playing over Bluetooth on this. Is that not available or? Mute off. <laughs> I'm at 37% power, 114 knots right now. Have them set 85%. She's kind of the right combination of cracking the whip when it needs to be cracked. Put the right tank back on. Nope. Yes. <laughs> and then being light on folks when there's some time for levity. I'm here for data. Right. Now you know what a switch is. Fantastic. She's just whip smart and knows everybody else's job, so she can do her job that much better. When you're told you can't do something, you either wallow or put in the work to solve the problem. My mentality at the time was that if I couldn't fly them, why can't I fly in the back of them? I knew that I really liked science and math, and my parents encouraged me towards engineering, so I started pursuing a mechanical engineering degree. I took a bunch of classes about airplanes and aviation, and then went on to get my master's in aerospace engineering. But I still didn't know what I wanted to do after college because all I wanted to be my entire life was this pilot. I eventually found something called flight test engineering, which has led me to this path today. Jamestown traffic, spread on two-fuzzer uniform tango, about a two-mile final now. 
Full stop. Two five. It's fun to get on the road. It's fun to exercise this aircraft. It's fun to exercise flight test. This is where the money is made. In any research and development program, you've got to set these kind of audacious goals. 300 miles today gives our customers confidence that with a couple of haircuts, we still have a commercially viable aircraft. And that's what everybody's so excited about. The flights this week have all culminated to today, where we're going to fly the experimental aircraft back to Plattsburgh, New York, to our flight test base. We're towing out. We're going to do, obviously, launch two four. If we're able to accomplish this on the technology we currently have, then in the future, the possibilities are endless when we've had more of a chance to develop the technology. This is pretty cool. Longest battery electric flight ever, from our knowledge at least. We're hoping for 300 miles. I think we're going to get a little bit more out of it. I'm showing uh, 46 right on the tail right now. What do you guys see? Same thing? Uh, Chase has got 42 now. As somebody that's an aviation enthusiast, it's cool to be on the forefront of innovation. To even have a small impact is like the coolest thing. We have to prove to ourselves, our investors, our customers, and uh, the rest of the world that electric aviation will get us where there we need is. to go. There it is. So it looks like we should have about 350 miles of range. There's actually a whole lot more to aviation than just being a pilot. And that's what beta technology is. We are a team of engineer, aircraft mechanics, flight instructors, test engineers, all coming together to build what electric aviation can be. All right, Plattsburgh Air Traffic, Experimental 250 Uniform Tango. We're currently 2.8 uh, in the descent. And uh, we'll be a full stop at uh, Plattsburgh looking for the station air traffic. Caroline, come give me a high five or something for the camera. I mean, somebody has to do something. Well, it was 294 direct for uh, Jamestown. Oh, we definitely got it then. It was 294 because I went six miles out, six miles back. Oh, here? Yeah. So we did, we did 314 or something. If you want something enough, you can't just give up. There's other ways to accomplish your dreams, even if those dreams change over time. I'm currently a student helicopter pilot, and I'm pursuing my private pilot certificate for helicopters. I wouldn't have gotten to this conclusion if I just stopped pursuing what has always interested me since I was a kid. Thank you.